In this video, I will show you how I installed the Tesla Model Y roof rack system onto my Tesla. There are, these are all the parts of the roof rack system. It's a good idea to look through the instruction list and compare that with the contents to make sure you have everything. This is the uh, OEM Tesla Model Y roof rack system. I'll leave a link in the description to Tesla's website where you can order the same roof rack if you want. First step, locate the anchoring points for the roof rack. There are these tiny arrows in the glass rooftop that indicate the locations for the anchoring points. The front point is located 227 millimeters or 8.9 inches away from the front edge of the glass top. The rear points are located 412 millimeters or 16.2 inches from the rear edge of the glass top. Then you apply four clear plastic anti-abrasion tapes um, to, on the car locations to protect your paint. This is because the rubber pads will be sitting on the car's frame and paint and they may cause abrasion. The stickers have arrows which you can line up with the arrows on the glass top. Then you have to install the clips to each anchoring point by using the clip tool to carefully and temporarily retract the rubber gasket at the arrow location. Uh, the clips latch onto the metal holders in the frame of the vehicle behind the gasket. And do not pre put the, uh, that way they do not put any pressure on the glass top. It is important that you place the anchors at the right position, otherwise they may accidentally attach to the glass rooftop and cause pressure, pressure and damage. Wiggle them around to test that they are secure and not, not touching the glass at all. If they are, then just reset them. Next, you need to place four rubber foot mat pads over the clips. These are, there, are, there are small icons on each pad that show you where to install each pad on the car. Make sure to put the right footbed in the right location as that may damage the glass roof if they don't fit properly. The next step is to have a friend help you to lift and lower the crossbars over the rubber footbeds. Be careful not to crack the glass while doing this. Make sure they face in the right direction too. The roof racks are aerodynamic like an airplane wing with the rounded end face facing forwards and the sharper end facing backwards. The next step is to take the four wing nuts and screw them over the anchor screws. Tighten them with the hex wrench. Do not over tighten them. I believe that the instructions recommend to tighten them to 2.5 to 3.5 nanometers, which is actually not a lot of tightening force. To be safe, just try to tighten them till they are secure. Um, they are just supposed to be hand tightened, I believe. To test, just pull them in all directions and ensure that there's no movement. There is a mark on the wing nut that must align with the mark on the tower in order to lock it. So note that mark as well. I actually got a torque wrench from Amazon to try to apply the exact force to the screws, but it did not well it did not work well for me, as I probably did not know how to use the torque wrench well. Uh, the tool is supposed to click when the target force is reached. However, I believe that the force was so light that the ratchet tool would not click or I did not feel it, and I was afraid that I would over tighten the bolts, so I ended up just hand tightening them, and that's what I would recommend. A key is provided to lock the system to the car. This is helpful if you're afraid of any theft. However, it may be a pain if you lose the key. So just make sure to keep the keys in a safe spot. The plastic covers add the aerodynamic look and cover the screws and the locks. Be careful, I accidentally broke one when I was trying to uh, uh, install it and remove it. Uh, you have to first install the bottom edge and then slide the top edge into place so that it clicks. To remove it, Wiggle the top edge and then pull it sideways, not upwards, away from the car, sideways. I then took out the car for a test drive with the roof rack on and then with my Thule uh, kayak holders and my kayak on. I've used this roof rack for other things like my surfboards, uh, stand-up paddle boards, uh, Christmas trees, and um, you know it's worked well. I keep them on, you know, I keep the roof rack system on all the time now. 
The, ru the roof racks that I use for the kayaks are a Thule system and are aerodynamic as well. Um, the roof rack system makes a minimal noise. It's not uh, zero noise. Uh, there's a small amount of wind noise or whistle that you may hear, but it is easily drowned out by some music on the radio or a podcast or an audiobook, in my opinion. I believe that this system was actually a Yakima system that's branded as the OEM uh, Tesla brand. So, you know, I may try to get a, a, a kayak system that's uh, branded as Yakima just so that it fits better. I noticed that my Thule system had screws that started to mac mark the back of the, uh, uh, of the roof rack, so I didn't like that. I hope you liked this video. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you did, please click like, uh, comment, or subscribe. This video is part of my Tesla playlist on YouTube. I also have other videos in my channel that you might enjoy, like surfing, kayak fishing, uh, snowboarding. Please check them out.